eat the meth. Eat it. I'm so sorry, but your friend is going through something. So that means you're gonna go through something as well. Bye bye! Bob over here has made a mess. Welcome to Bob's messy kitchen. And as far as I know, in kitchen supplies, you don't really need nail polish and pseudo evidence. Because I think if you combine these two together, you get something of a substance that you should not consume. I don't think Bob knows that though, but this is a fully functional oven. This here is a coffee cup with hot liquids in it. We're gonna pour that over Bob in a bit and see if he suffers or not. This is sugar, definitely not cocaine. And then we've got some pizza slices, some cheese, some, some whatever these things are. And I thought, why not try and cook some things? So let's just freeze that to the, to the background. Let's put a burger in here close this up and let's see if it actually fries it up and if it if it even works it should be a fully functional food mod but i i don't really know i don't know if this oven is getting hot or not um at least this burger is not changing shape what if we what if we try to feed this to bob see what happens eat it eat the burger oh okay i think he just pooped out blood or something that does not it doesn't look it doesn't look healthy right hot liquids eat it eat the liquids eat them eat them Eat the liquids, damn it! Come on! Come on, then. Have the liquids, you little bastard! Okay, it's fine. Maybe you'll have a banana then. Eat, oh, yep, a banana is fine. He'll eat a banana every day. Hmm. He's too much alive and struggling for me to be able to put him in the oven. So let's take a fork and. Crap. There you go. Perfect. Okay, put him in there. Close this bad boy out. Let's get the feed in there as well. Oh, sorry. I think I broke something. Nice. All right. And turn the oven on. It definitely gets warm. It gets a little bit too toasty. Oh, no. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop right now. Stop it. Stop. Stop burning. There you go. That's good enough. Okay. Let's get the burning corpses of Bob over here. Let's put it in a tr trash bin. There you go. <laughs> you can, look, you, can, <laughs> you can even see his face. Like, Bob is not happy about this. And because Bob is not happy about it, we're just gonna toss him in the trash. The trash being this big dumpster over here. Yep, there you go. And I missed the bin. Let's do that again then. Poof! Nice. And there he is in his trash bin, all happy and dandy. So <sighs> it's, it's good that we have that thing there because if, if something goes wrong, we can just put humans over there. It's no big deal. There you go. Right. So uh, let's see if we can cook these things together then. How, how do I... How do I make these things like bond? How do I, can I, can I like somehow, can I like, oh, what if we put them into the oven together? Oh, maybe that's the way we do it. Okay, nail polish, the pseudo furniture, whatever it is. Put the oven on, close the lid, and let's see if this mixes. Yeah, doesn't seem to work. The reason why I want to combine these two is because this thing says, use with nail polish remover to create meth. I really want to do it, but I don't think it's possible. I don't need, don't know how I should combine these. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, I think I made a plate of meth. Oh, oh my, there's no way. <laughs> I actually did it. Okay, this, this requires a little bit of testing. Okay, Bob, this might look like a healthy piece of like blue snack or whatever, but I assure you it is. Everything but eat it. Eat the meth. Eat it. <gasps> what eternity is that? Is is that the one who knocks? Hello? Um, okay, I'm really scared. What did I feed him? Okay, let's feed him the sugar that is definitely not cocaine. I think he's slowly getting out of it. Uh right, so I've given him some some white powder. That is definitely not meth. I've also given him crystal something, and I, d I don't think he feels too good. I think we need to get rid of him, because this, this seems like a cocktail gone wrong. Here you go. Right, just like that. This is a garbage bin, and oh! <laughs> I just love the way that works. And put him in the trash. Look, it even fills up. The more trash we put in it, the more trash bins we're going to have there. And then we can also, of course, we can just clean the dumpster, and boom. All of our worries are gone, just like your worries are gonna be gone when you subscribe to Wacky. That's pretty good, James, yeah? Think they're gonna click it? Yeah, I think so. I'm still really curious about this coffee, because, like, it, it, it's, it is a liquid. I can hear it, like, slurping inside of it, but I can't seem to feed it into Bob, no matter what I do. He just, just does not want to drink it. Like, um, oh, I did something. Did I just, oh, there you go, come on. All right, have at it. 
Oh my god, you son of a- Drink the coffee, stupid little useless. Ah. Okay, maybe have a fry. You know what? There you go. Yeah, eat fries. That'll help. Speaking of fries. <laughs> we take our experiments outside i've got bob over here with a chef's hat on because you know he's got to look the part and then we've got a couple of people swimming in the water just chilling out having a blast you know these foods over here they look all good and tasty but there's one of them that's bob's wiener it's just a sausage guys it's it's just a sausage but this here is a poison apple and little do these guys know that are swimming in the ocean that i'm gonna poison them so let's take this apple over here and let's put it into one of your mouth. Let's see what happens. Why is it so? Oh my God, you just instantly turned into dead. Okay. Well, you better use him as a flotation device because otherwise, oh my God, you know what? Or you can just stand on him because <laughs> why not? Now then, what should we do about you then? We can't leave you here all like all alone and just survive. We need to do something about this. Ooh, a deep fryer. I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be used, but this is the way I'm using it. Oh, God. It's still fine. He's still for not long, though. By the way, guys, look at how massive this level is. These, he these guys here, that's Bob. Now, I feel kind of sorry for Bob, so we're just going to have to do this. Goodbye. So I was scrolling through new mods to play, and I came across this. This is called Experiment Hole. Literally, it's literally just an, a hole that is made for experiments. It's got buttons over here that we can press, uh, and we need somebody to press them. So let's, why don't we put like, why don't we put Bob over there, ready to go? It's even got this elevator here that we can go down into to, to this place. Well, I don't know why I would do it. Oh, there's a button here as well. The one of them. I'm gonna press that later on. It looks identical on this side as well. There's a giant button on the wall here, and uh, there's literally only one way to press these buttons, and that's to use the handy dandy hand. Let's see what this will do then. Ooh, that sounds dead. Yes! <laughs> oh my, I don't know what's happening over here. It's very loud. It's, oh my God, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Holy. Whew. Okay. I think Bob over here is slightly scared right now because that does not look normal. What does this button do? Wait, it's the, oh. Oh, that's for the, uh, for the elevator. And he, the elevator is broken. Look, he's, he has his mouth open already. I think he knows what's about to happen. I'm going to throw him into the pit. Sorry, throw the glass. Goodbye! Do not enter. Oh boy, that's not good. What's that hissing sound? Oh, I think. Oh, oh, I think the jet engines might be slightly hot still. It's fine. Let's just put your rod over there. You know what? No. Let's put a healthy bob over here. No! I, uh, uh, sorry for this. Uh, sorry, it's burning. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. It's burning. Ah, crap. 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 All right, I changed the temperature. It should be fine right now. Cool. You're okay. Right. Time to use the hand and see what happens to Bob. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Not good. Oh, it just misses it. But I'm pretty sure that thing is still kind of hot. I really want to make sure that this thing just blows down and doesn't go. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what I did. My hand. No. We've got some visitors. Everybody's waiting for their turn to have a look at the massive cooking dish where accidents never happened. Oh, there we've got it. Okay, cool. All right, one at a time. One at a time. Don't need to push that hard. Okay, let's just get this one. Boop, there you go. And just don't press that button. Whatever you do, don't press it. Welcome upstairs. Now we lost some people because this elevator doesn't have any safety features. So, you know, if you fall, you pretty much, um, pretty much plummet to your death. So that's what happened. Anyway, welcome. And uh oh, uh, <clears throat> ignore the skeleton. <clears throat> Ignore the burning sounds as well. Um, if you could just step ahead and walk forwards a little bit, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. I promise that. <laughs> oh, oh you, there you go. Okay. And um, see you later. Everybody into the center. Ah. Got a lot of a good smell of cooked meat in the morning. I welcome you to the modernized testing facility. These over here are all brand spanking new state-of-the-art weapons. And this over here is a volunteer Bob. Well, I say volunteer, but he, he volunteered to, you know, come into this place. And this guy up here, right? This is the overseer. Now, he's got something on his neck over here. Uh, that's a uh, explosive collar. If he doesn't obey my orders and tell his friend down here what to do, 
his head is going to go bye-bye. And when I say tell him what to do, I mean just stand here and take bullets like a man. So this seems a little bit boring, you say. Well, it's technically a weird form of Russian roulette, you see. I've got a couple of attachments over here. Some of these are fun, some of these are not so fun. And I've just shaken them up like this to make sure I don't know which one is which. So let's just go for it then. Let's take this weapon to start off with. It sounds and looks like this. <laughs> so let's put an attachment onto it. What looks like fun? This looks like fun. What is this? What does it do? Let's put it underneath. Like that, and then... Ooh, that sounds strange. So does it like... Don't know what happens. But let's see what happens to you! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's not cool! Oh my god! Wait, it's poison! <laughs> it's a poison ball! I'm so sorry, but your friend is going through something. So that means you're gonna go through something as well. Bye-bye! So there's a bunch of attachments here that we can mess around with. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there was one that I really wanted to try, and that is this, the detector attachment. It detects if there's, you know, a target nearby. Oh, is he still fine? He's fine! So let's try this detector attack. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we attached the detector attachment to the shotgun. Now, what if I just angle it upwards a little bit? Nothing happened. Oh, oh my god, no! Oh, 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 it just, it just did that. Now, if there's anything that I've wanted to do for the longest time, it's to launch a rocket into space. These guys are trained astronauts, but there wasn't really any space in the shuttle, so I had to, you know, tape them to the actual rocket. Uh, don't be alarmed. They've got some suits on, or not. It's not my problem. I'm just the launch guy. And um, we're going to see what happens. Supposedly, they're going to land on the moon and they're going to live happily ever after. Or so I've heard. So uh, where's the button that we need to... Where's the magical... Also, what? The, why the hell are there so many explosives on this thing? Is it so that if anything goes wrong, everything goes wrong? Let's put some lives on the line, shall we? Let's put a bunch of people just waiting for things to happen. Or praying for things to not happen. Let's hope nothing happens. Let's not. Yes, sir! This is up for the task. But I do want to look at what's happening. So I'm just going to scroll out a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to be a tricky little maneuver because I need to move my tiny hand, my tiny, tiny hand, and press the button. I did it! Okay, here we go. Oh, oh that guy in the bottom there is getting toasted. Um. Oh, it's working! Um. Well, that, that didn't work at all. Oh my god, there's no way! The whole thing went up in flames! 